five star. Built strong to last long. You have a little something right on here. Yeah. Thank you so much for the present, Robert. I mean, you really didn't have to get me anything. Yeah, you should open it. It really isn't much. Alrighty. Let's see. Um... You can <laughs> rip that paper. It's just newspaper. I get a new one every day. I color one on Sundays. Oh, Robert. like it. What is it? I mean, I know it's a cat, but, uh, well, it's the perfect gift for me. Perfect. <laughs> I really like cats. How did you know? Well, what's not to love about cats? It's so good to hear that you're an animal person. I don't think I could possibly date somebody that didn't love animals, you know? Um, how many animals do you have? How many pets? Well, actually, I don't have any. I used to have a cat, uh, Geraldine, who uh, died last year. I really miss her. We could take her to a vet, but I can tell you exactly what they're gonna say. She's old, Ed. When are you gonna stop torturing her like this? It's time for her to move on to greener pastures. I had no idea. She's 35. Most ponies don't even make it that far. Well, I guess if somebody's got to do it, it ought to be me. Should I use a rifle? What the hell? Oh, Jesus, Ed. I didn't mean greeter pastures like that. Oh. Oh, thank God. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Sometimes you have no common sense. Come on, let's go get some lunch, and then we'll put her in my trailer. Okay. And the doc puts a time of death around 11. Isn't right, Cap. There's something off about this. It's all right, Harrison. We all have our doubts now and then, especially when you have an open and shut case. When you were a girl, mm -hmm. did you ever get a visit from the pony man? Most people around here keep horses. No, I mean, a guy would go door to door in the city, and for a couple of bucks, he'd take Polaroid pictures. I guess that sounds like something city people would do. Oh! oh. <laughs> Hello there. I'm Fern. Hi. Hi, I'm George. Hi, I'm Liz. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, Jody doesn't bring her friends over anymore. Nice to see she still has them. Well, she quit work, and we have no idea what she's been up to these days. I've been working, you know that. Selling ice cream is not exactly a career, Jody. <laughs> well, Dad used to drive a milk truck. That's how you met. You told me that. Well, that was different. <laughs> oh, come on. Come here, friends. Were you out with last night? But in 1983, their world is obliterated. 27 years of marriage wiped out in an instant. Straub um, was tending bar while her husband was working the graveyard shift at a dairy and she was bending over backwards as a grandmother and as a mother to make sure that her people were properly taken care of. Money is extremely tight, but they're able to joke about it. My mom would sit around joking with my dad about how he was worth more dead than alive. SNS water seemed to be booming, but the book showed it operating in the red. Money was disappearing, but how and where? The one person with daily access to the books was the son-in-law, Michael Seawright. I'm looking at the books. And she figured that Michael Seawright was skimming profits off the money that was being made, so she had confronted him about this. I need you nosing around in my books. Now, would you please put the books down? I will not. These are going to go to jail. This was within probably a week of the murder. 
You need to mind your own business. You need to put those down and walk out of here right now. No, I won't. It says, well, we ran out of gas, we need some money, gotta write you a check. And so he was sitting down to write the $20 check. And she had placed the $20 on the table. And that's when Peter says that Curtis goes crazy and grabs her. Peter says that he gets a heart-shaped pillow that says Jim and Kathy on it and uses it to muffle the sound when he shoots her. After they killed her, they panicked and went out the back window. There may have been $2,000 in the apartment, but they never got any money. As a matter of fact, they left a $20 bill right on the table. You've been brought in here three times because you what? Overreacted? Go ahead and book him. I'll put in for a warrant to search his apartment. You think he did it too? It isn't a matter of what I think. We can only determine what happened by what we find. Let a damn jury determine if he's guilty or not. Ruben, Dr. Rosano's here. What's the point if you have to pay someone to hug you? I'm just trying to help you be normal. I am normal. But you know, maybe we should pick this up another time. Doesn't that feel nice? Mom, can you leave? I'm not looking. 